Today on The Path, we'll take a peek at highlights of our interview with Denise Folk and her coach Nancy Unangst as they describe Denise's slow and steady approach to growing a dual career in real estate. I'm Usha Patel, and if you're committed to a real estate as a second career, this episode's for you. Let's check it out. I have my real estate license now for four years, okay. and I work full time as a recreation director for a local municipality. Right now, doing both. I'm working full time, and then I'm doing part time as a real estate agent. It has <coughs> been a very long time. I've actually <laughs> been in real estate now for 28 years, okay. and um, I'd started in college um, as a math teacher, uh, an education to be a math teacher, and through an odd series of events, found myself at a real estate school with my dad. And we ended up, uh, I ended up working at that real estate school for a while. He and I then started a mortgage company, the, the owner of the real estate school. And that's where I met my husband. There was a part of me that still really wanted to do teaching and helping mm -hmm. people grow. That was, that I never really got to do. Yeah. So um, one day, Usha called me <laughs> and said, hey, have you ever thought about doing some coaching? And, uh, and I decided yeah. to do that then. Yeah. No matter which business we were building, there was the aspect of becoming good at mortgages or real mm -hmm. estate. But then there was the part that came to be um, more important was being able to build a profitable and effective business. And we learned that turning to coaches and other people who have learned how to do this before us yeah. saved us a lot of painful and expensive mistakes. So we started um, doing that more and more and, and getting coaching. Um, if there's anything I've ever done in my career that I really think helped grow me as a person, was doing the coaching. So much, um, Keystone Partners Group has put so much education into me in an environment where it's been, um, brought to me in a way of self, becoming more self-aware. Mm -hmm. I started to see my limiting beliefs. Right. And starting to see um, people's potential, I would see my own potential. So I feel like in that three years, while I helped grow a lot of other people's careers and businesses, I certainly um, am sitting here in a much better place than I was. I yeah. don't know what I would do without Nancy. <laughs> she's she's gotten me through a lot of tough transactions and a lot of questions that I've had, and always been very patient yeah. and knowledgeable. And you know, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't be in it if it weren't for her. Most of my clients so far have come from friends and family, mm -hmm. yeah. some friends of my my children who are now grown, mm -hmm. you know, and that kind of thing. But uh, I I would like to branch out a little bit more next year and mm -hmm. you know see if I can pursue some other avenues. Yes, I see everybody breathe a big sigh of relief when they can see that there's a plan and it ends up where they want to be, and they can measure that on a weekly basis. So in terms of breaking it down like this, I can watch people really get comfortable and really feel like they can do this because they can see if they do these things. It's worked for other great agents and other people just like them. I do hand select when I see a, an education piece or an event coming that I think is good. I'll reach out, call or text and say, I really think you should be at that one. Mm -hmm. And then Denise or whoever it is will change their schedule and come on in. If it's something that they won't be able to um, happen again next month or mm -hmm. sometime soon, we try to get everybody in for those. Yeah. KPG puts us in a great position to be able to really shine through a shift. Mm -hmm. you know, as the, if the market gets a little bit more challenging, it's uh, what where some people may see it as a challenge, we see it as an opportunity to gain more market share mm -hmm. because Absolutely. we have the skills to be able to take that on and uh, maybe some of the other agents have to go back to whatever it was they were doing before and there's a little more market share for, for skilled agents. I love working with her and I, and I know that when she's working with clients, they're going to be well taken care of. And I think Denise is a great example of somebody balancing a career and starting their own business and um, really caring and doing it the right way. I would just say that if you have if you have something that you think you want to try, you should go for it, regardless yeah. of what it is. It took me a long time to get up the courage to, to do mm -hmm. it, and I'm so glad that I did. Denise proves that you can follow your passion for real estate on a part-time basis. It's not for everyone, but perhaps you can benefit by following the slow and steady path to predictable results. Click into the full episode and make it happen.